Good morning. It's Thursday, January 2nd, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Leaving and Arriving, and our scripture is Genesis chapter 12. The Lord had said to Abram, Leave your native country, your relatives, and your father's family, and go to the land that I will show you. I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you and make you famous, and you will be a blessing to others. I will bless those who bless you and curse those who treat you with contempt. All the families on earth will be blessed through you. So Abram departed as the Lord had instructed, and Lot went with him. Abram was seventy-five years old when he left Haran. He took his wife Sarai, his nephew Lot, and all his wealth, his livestock, and all the people he had taken into his household at Haran, and headed for the land of Canaan. When they arrived in Canaan, Abram traveled through the land as far as Shechem. There he set up camp beside the oak of Moray. At that time the area was inhabited by Canaanites. Then the Lord appeared to Abram and said, I will give this land to your descendants. And Abram built an altar there and dedicated it to the Lord who had appeared to him. Abram got that word from God to pack it all up and leave his familiar surroundings and his father's family and go, where? Where was the arrival point? Lord, you mean just wander? In 1980, we got the same kind of message in our household. Well, I was the one who got that message. Elizabeth got it secondhand from me. To paraphrase my bride's way of retelling the story, there I was lying in bed with a four-day-old baby, and he comes in and tells me he thinks we really ought to sell the house now and go to seminary. What? Where is that? And he says, I don't know. I could have hit him with a pot. That seems to be the way it is with God. You get a prodding to leave, but arriving points are scarcely in the upfront part of the picture. You find out much later how the arriving makes sense. Another thing I've learned along the way is that you're always leaving in one way or another. That's the way it is with pilgrims. Abram left and followed God. He died in a foreign place, never possessing the land God promised to his descendants. Moses left and never got to cross Jordan either. John and Peter left their fishing boats to go follow Jesus. One of them arrived at a life sentence of exile on Patmos to live out his days working in a coal mine, while the other arrived at a cross upside down. Some arrivals aren't as romantic or magical as we dreamed. If you check out the Hall of Faith fame in Hebrews chapter 11, Abram is there obeying, following, leaving, always a foreigner, moving towards home. Hebrews chapter 11. It was by faith that Abraham obeyed when God called him to leave home and go to another land that God would give him as his inheritance. He went without knowing where he was going, and even when he reached the land God promised him, he lived there by faith, for he was like a foreigner living in tents. When we leave, it's always with a sense of arriving somewhere else, somewhere better, like a better paying job or a better community or a warmer climate. We're not only stepping out, we are hopefully stepping up. And it's that way with our life's journey toward the ultimate arrival, the ultimate step up to glory. For you today, when you're bound for the kingdom, it's always a good thing to keep Abram in mind. Take some time today to remember the promise of your inheritance. And, just like Abraham, build an altar of worship in your heart. Just don't forget to keep moving. You're not home yet. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.